reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb he gave me my name. He made me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he told me, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had to toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my response recompenses with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me in, as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may teach reach the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks be God. God. Responsorial Psalm. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. salvation. In you, O Lord, I take my take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will, will sing of your salvation. salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will I sing of your, your salvation. salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day, your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. I will, and until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will, I will sing of your, your salvation. salvation. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified. Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded at him, to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Scarlet. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money back, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once. And it was night. 
When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the, man, the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, as I have, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you, Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now. Though you will follow me, though you will follow later. Jesus said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. By the Lord, in the middle part of the gospel. Here at the beginning was the narrative of the Last Supper and how Judas and the Lord mentioned about his betrayal. And then after the narrative, the second part, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified. We reflect on this this line. Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God glorified in Him. If God is glorified in Him, God will also glorify him in Himself, and He will glorify Him at once. We will reflect on the word glorify, mentioned many times. And the Lord mentioned, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and in His mind, His heart, he will suffer. In his mind, in his heart, someone will betray him. In his mind, in his heart, he will be put to death. And he said, Now is the Son of Man glorified. That, that going through the suffering is glorification. Going through pain is glorification because after the pain after death there's resurrection amen, amen. And so this is also our our question in our daily lives how do we live our lives what's our disposition in in our daily lives because like the question is do we think about heaven do we think about heaven like when we woke up in the morning? Yes, I'm in heaven. <laughs> and doing something, going to church. Yes, I'm in heaven. Eating breakfast. I'm in heaven. Driving. I'm in heaven. Because that's the disposition of the Lord. Now is the time the Son of Man is glorified. Glorification. That the his heart and his mind while doing everything here. There is always glorification. Because if we have that disposition of glorification, and as we say that now as heaven, when we we have that in our hearts and our mind, it's a beautiful life. Right? Because mm -hmm. we're living in heaven. So all of us thinking about heaven, we care about everybody. We love everybody, we forgive everybody. There's always kindness, patience, understanding. Because we are living in heaven. We are now in heaven. Glorification. But sometimes we fail. Because the only thing now, our pain now, our problems now, our situations now, our hardships now, 
now, we only think about now. But we only think of but if we think also about in the future in heaven, then what a beautiful life, what a beautiful life we are living today. Amen. Amen.